How do you make a shoe that is custom tailored to a 3D scan of someone's foot? And then when that shoe is done being used, can be completely and entirely recycled just by mailing it back. That is what Zellerfeld is working on. So Zellerfeld was officially launched back in 2016 by Cornelius Schmidt. At the time, he was working out of his dorm room trying to create 3D printed shoes in order to get involved with a $500 billion shoe industry. And he saw how 3D printing could allow for customization of shoes, so he started working on this. If you're able to 3D print a shoe, then you're able to eliminate all of the upfront cost of the creation of the shoe because you can effectively just upload a 3D model and then shoes can start being made. And you also eliminate the holding costs of those shoes or really any type of product. You don't have to have warehousing, you just have to have a print farm that is able to grow the shoes as a person orders them. And then lastly, if you're able to 3D print an entire shoe using a material like TPU, then you know no longer have to worry about the recycling of that shoe. Every part of the shoe can just be ground up and then run back through a 3D printer at some point. It's very easy to recycle. All these were really good ideas that could give Zellerfeld the opportunity to really disrupt the way shoes are made, which is why probably very recently they were able to raise $15 million in funding from Founders Fund. Now, why does this matter? Well, today, 85% of shoes are produced in Asia. They're also generally multi-material constructs that have fabric on the top, rubber on the bottom, and a bunch of glue and gunk in between holding it together. But 3D printed footwear has been on the uptick. As of 2020, it was estimated to be worth almost $900 billion and is growing annually at about 20%. And 3D printed footwear has the capability to potentially solve many of the issues with traditional footwear manufacturing. Now, the way Zellerfeld has gone about skinning this cat is that they use standard FDM 3D printing in order to produce a fully TPU shoe. They work with independent designers as well as very well-known designers such as Yeezy to create custom shoes that you can't really find anywhere else. They're able to create a model of something very unique and then kind of limit the supply in a way so that if you have this pair of shoes, you know no one else is gonna have that pair of shoes. It allows you to be fashionable in the truest sense of the word in that you're fully unique rather than fashionable in that you match what everybody else has. And Zellerfeld has partnered with many celebrities in order to perpetuate this idea of the brand and the exclusivity of it. It's one of the most brilliant things that they've done in realizing that they're more of a shoe brand than they are a shoe technology, even though they have a lot of technology inside of it. In order to make a shoe that is comfortable, wearable, and durable, all from the same material, is actually very difficult because you have to have the material change how it behaves, whether it's on the sole where it needs to be hard or whether it's on top where it needs to feel like fabric, even though it's still rubber. But TPU does enable this. And we've talked about this several times on the channel before where we talk about how TPU can change its properties. But Zellerfeld has also used these celebrity partnerships and the exclusivity to help with a problem that the technology still kind of has. 3D printing of these shoes is fairly slow. Right now it's estimated that it takes about 40 hours to grow a pair of shoes when somebody makes an order, and they currently have lead times of up to eight to 12 weeks, which is not terribly quick. But that's okay because even though the production process is a little bit slow right now, since they are focusing on these very kind of premium partnered limited releases, they're able to allow the production process to have the time that it needs while still maintaining the cachet and the exclusivity of the shoes. It's actually a really good business model that allows your technology to catch up while still building the brand and building the business. As of today, Zellerfeld has had multiple releases and has many SKUs on their website, and I'm sure they'll want to pursue many more into the future because, again, they can make anything at any time to a reasonable degree. At the moment, they have print farms in both New York and in Hamburg, Germany, and they'll probably continue to grow those as the demand for these types of shoes continues to grow. They have figured out how to make a shoe both very well and how to make people want that shoe, which are two very different and very difficult parts of a shoe company. Most shoe companies, such as like Nike, have always relied very heavily on the brand, even though the shoe itself is a commodity. But to both technologically change how shoes are made and figure out how to sell that actual product, product, well, that's the reason they're on this show, because they're a real 3D printed product. 
Thank you so much, you guys, for watching that. Zellerfeld is a really great company. We actually ended up working with Cornelius a little bit back in like 2018, 19. They were still doing uh, introductory tests to the shoes and that kind of thing. And it was a lot of fun to work with them. And the success they've seen has been really awesome. Do check out our other Real 3D printed products videos. We have a bunch of them talking about products that have actually moved large numbers of items to show that they are a real product and they are doing cool stuff. Do subscribe if you wanna see other videos like this. But other than that, have a great day, everybody.